Oh man. <laughs> Just did the transmission in a 2020 Chevy Express. Put a new filter in it. And now we have a problem. She does not have a dipstick. How do we check the level? First, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop this plug out. This is where you fill it. And I'm gonna pull out the level check plug here. And I'm going to fill it up with the vehicle off until fluid comes out. And then I'm gonna put the plug back in. I'm gonna start the vehicle up, go through all of the gears, and then shut the vehicle off, put it back up in the air, take this plug out, see if any fluid comes out. If fluid does not come out, I'm gonna fill it until fluid comes out. Then I'm gonna put the plug back in. I'm gonna start the vehicle, move it through all the gears, let it get up to operating temperature, and pull this plug while the engine is running. The fluid should come to a steady trickle when the fluid level is correct. Then you put the plug back in and you're done. The vehicle is currently off. So we're gonna pull this plug and just see if any fluid comes out. This is hard to do with one hand. Let's see if I can get you a better angle here. I put three and a half quarts in it already, fired it up, and shut it off. I'm not anticipating any fluid coming out. Come on, baby. So close. Oh, look. No fluid came out. Now, I'm going to use this power steering machine and fill it until fluid comes out. And we're putting it right here. And like I said, the fluid starts flowing out. Or if you run out of fluid. It's kind of like a Capri Sun. I think this would be court four going in right now. Still nothing. Here it comes. Is it coming? Nope. is court six going in. I guess so we put in about three, three and a half the first time, fired it up, ran it to the gears and shut it off. So now we're doing it again. Because there's really no information out here on how to do this. There we go. There we go. And we're just gonna let that trickle until it stops. Put the plug back in it, fire it up, run it through the gears, and let it get warm. And then we'll take it out while it's running in park. And add fluid if needed. Or let it drain down to the proper level. For the next step, I lift the vehicle off the ground and set it on the locks. I want the fluid to warm up faster so I'm going to cycle through the gears with my foot on the brake and then I'm slowly going to release the brake with it in first gear and let it idle for about 15 minutes. So now we're going to start the vehicle, foot on the brake. My foot's still on the brake. Uh, maybe this makes it easier for you guys to see. 
feel the transmission engaged so we know we're close to the proper fluid level. I like to give a good four or five seconds in each gear. Now with manual shift it's a little difficult so you just go to first or low. You go all the way back. Park. <coughs> and now I'm going to go all the way to first. I'm slowly going to let my foot off the brake. And our wheels are spinning. So I'll let it do this for a good five to ten minutes. I know it may trigger some traction control lights, but that's okay. I can clear out all the modules when I'm done. <laughs> yeah, she's been running for about 10-15 minutes now in gear with the wheels off the ground and the lift on the locks. And as I suspected, we've got some other problems here. The ABS is freaking out, but that's totally expected. So now we're going to Put our foot on the brake slowly. Make sure the back wheels are completely stopped. They are. Now we're going to put it in park. We're going to leave it running. In this next step, if you are unsure of the transmission fluid temperature, just put your hand, the back of your hand, up against the pan. Obviously, this is not that warm, so it is not ready to check yet. When your back of your hand is super warm, now you check the fluid level. Yep, she is warm. Now we pull the plug out. We got her running in park. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see there, guys. Uh, I need to get a photographer, get a camera guy. Make my life a lot easier. Hopefully some fluid comes out and it drains down to the proper level, or we're going to add some more. Oh, nothing came out. It looks like it wants to. So we're going to add some more while it's running until it trickles out. We're still on port 6. Make sure you route these so they're not going to burn up on the catalytic converter. These things can get really hot, so don't burn yourself. And we're going to add fluid while it's running. Oh no, we need another core. Now we're on port 7. Here we go.
he is thirsty. And we need another court. Court nine. Step. If you are unsure of the transmission fluid temperature, just put your hand, the back of your hand, up against the pan. Yep, she is warm. Now we pull the plug out. We got her running in park. Now that all that fluid has heated up that we added, the last step, leave it in park, leave it running. Let it drain down until a very steady trickle. Let's go out a minute. You also have to make sure the vehicle is level when doing this. That's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna let that trickle out a little bit more. We got our plug back in. Make sure you push down. Watch out, things are hot. And there you go. Put the level check plug back in it. Make sure it's tight. And you're done. 